So we're right here. It's glacier, uh, we're at the Glacier Gorge tr um, Trailhead. If you went up further up the road, it'd be Bear Lake. Um, so we're in the Bear Lake Corridor that you need a special pass for. That's, and you can park here and take one of these shuttles further up to Bear Lake or wherever else you're going back in here. Uh, so once you find parking, you really want to travel around with the shuttles because parking is limited. It is nine in the morning and this parking lot's already full. So we're going to hike out first out to um, Alberta Falls. It's named after Alberta Sprague, um, as in Sprague Lake. Um, and they're supposed to be beautiful. I can actually hear them from here. So this is an area where you can sit and wait for the shuttles and they do have bathrooms here. Okay, so this is Alberta Falls. It's less than a mile and there's going to be a 210 elevation gain. And right now we're um, at the parking lot. We're at 9,240 feet, but Alberta Falls is 9,400 feet. So there's your gain there. I'll say one thing about the, um, these shuttles is that I've been standing here for maybe five minutes and I've seen three shuttles. So they come by, you know, quite often. Of course, all through Rocky Mountain National Park, no dogs are allowed on these trails because of the wildlife and the eco uh, ecosystem. Um, because there's a lot of people that don't pick up after their dogs and they, um, you know, moose go after dogs. Spook the moose. Yeah, it spooks the moose. And we have a lot of uh, moose attack dogs that people are just walking their dogs. Not here in the park, because you're not supposed to have them, but you know, just homeowners. So this trail is really nice. Now, as you can see, weather moves in very quickly, so be prepared. You know, it can rain on you very easily. Very well maintained path. Yeah, it's very well maintained. Rain. Rain last night. Looks like. Still in the low spot the beautiful ferns along the trail. We're here in late July. That's when you're going to see the wildflowers here in Rocky Mountain National Park. The higher you go, the longer they're going to last. Um, you know, it stays cold high up for quite some time into the summer. Um, but here we go. Here's some right here. Notice the bluish tint to the water? Yeah, well they, a lot of this water is coming off of glaciers. Really noticeable polarized sunglasses. Yeah. We are getting into mountain goat um, habitat area. So like any of the 
mammals that you see or any animal that you see here in Rocky Mountain National Park, do not approach them. You need to be 25 yards away and do not feed them. It's illegal for you to approach or feed these animals. So and don't, don't butt heads with them. Yes. So bring a telephoto lens. Here come the thunderheads. <laughs> and we're here in the morning. So pretty. No matter what direction you look. So, I'm over here. here's probably the steepest climb so far up these rock steps. And I want you to take my picture for the was here. Okay. Morning, guys. Morning. Good morning. So, so far, this has been the steepest with a cascading um, stairwell here, rock stairwell. So, I hope that cloud doesn't get angry. I know. I don't want to. <laughs> rain to come in. I thought we get here in the morning. We're a little late. We were supposed to be here at 8 and it's, and it's like 10 now. Um, parking lots are already full. <laughs> the Bear Lake parking lots already full. Um, the parking lot we parked in, Glacier Gorge, we lucked out. It was totally full, and then somebody was pulling. Yeah. Somebody was pulling out, um, and so we'll park there for the day and take shuttles. Excuse me, I'm a little out of breath. I just went up those stairs and continuing to, and we're at about 9,400 feet in altitude. So I'm used to altitude. For those of you that aren't, bring lots of water and take it easy. What's really nice is they have these built-in lounge chairs along the trail. <laughs> yeah, but I hear their heart is rock. Dun, dun, dun. So there's a lot of families with grandparents and kids because um, this is not a hard hike. <laughs> they have all these great bridges that go over the creeks. follow the signs. It's actually shorter to Bear Lake from here than it is to Alberta yeah. Falls. Yeah, so you can walk from Bear Lake. That will take you to Bear Lake, but this is going to take you to Alberta Falls. So I'm going to come back up here in the fall. It's uh, midsummer right now because this is going to be gorgeous. These aspen trees will turn just a beautiful yellow back in here. Um, so watch out for that video. So Colorado is very dry. You're thirsty all the time. And it's very important that you bring plenty of water with you. It will also help with altitude sickness. So drink water, drink water, drink water. There's our buddy the chip room. He wants to steal your show and any food you have in the backpack. So I know this guy. Yeah, he hit my back. Somebody's fruit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, whoever fed him didn't do him any favors. Yeah, don't feed their animals, please. And look at the mushroom like that. And he left their fruit there for him. Don't do that. And we can hear the thunder. Even that's how loud it is. You can hear it over this. They want to but, yeah. trip to the lake. So again, I said it in all my videos. Weather moves in very quickly and be prepared for it. Try to go in the mornings, even though we did go in the morning, but it's like one o'clock right now and the storms have already started moving in. Never There's Alberta. Again, the falls are named after Alberta Sprague, Alberta and Abner Sprague. 
the lake, Lake Sprague Lake's named after them also. Um, they had two different resorts here in Rocky Mountain National Park. Their last one was at Sprague Lake. Make sure you uh, catch our two videos on Sprague Lake. One about the history that tells you who the Sprague family is. And the other one that talks about the hike in the area. So honey, that was quite a hike, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Are you ready for a cold beer? <laughs> Why does that remind you of Coors? No. It's, uh, there's the beer in your backpack you need to pull out. Oh, funny. <laughs> Quite a few people hike up here. It's definitely worth the hike. You can climb up on the rocks, get a little closer to the uh, waterfall itself, which is just on the other side here. Hello. Hi. You know, there's something orange over there. Yeah, I see it. Actually, those look like mushrooms over there. He's talking about this right here. I do have a telephoto on my back. Give me a minute. Mushrooms all on the other side of... Here's the waterfall. And there's mushrooms. Look on the other side and you see these red mushrooms and really large ones. So we just passed an entire family in flip-flops and you know one of them's having a hard time and people don't wear flip-flops on these trails you know it's tennis shoes um if you've got some kind of grip on the bottom of your tennis shoes wear those uh skater shoes you can't climb the these rocks when you get up to the waterfalls because it's just going to be too slippery for you so you know, have something that has a gib on the bottom of it, a hiking boot, a, a tennis shoe that, you know, that's not flat footed on the bottom. Um, but don't no wear. No Speedos, no bathrobes, <laughs> no flip flops. Yeah, don't wear flip flops. You're gonna have a hard time and you're gonna end up hurting yourself too. So I see these videos all the time that say, Rocky Mountain National Park in a day. Don't do that. <laughs> Take it from a local. Stop and smell the wildflowers. Don't do Rocky Mountain National Park in a day. You wouldn't have time to do some of the beautiful hikes. You wouldn't be able to stop and really see all the beautiful lakes. Just, you know, plan some days here. No matter where you stay, whether it's in Estes Park, down in um, Longmont, Boulder, or one of the campgrounds here in the park, spend some time here. Don't do it in one day.